Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are doing another weekly grind video on Dokkan Battle. So yes, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done one. I'm still waiting on the World Tournament results. I don't know what's going on. According to DBZ.Space, I did not place. I was off by like 100,000. Uh, I don't know though. We'll have to wait to see what the last what last time is um, when, we, when they come in later on tonight. Uh, I did a couple of guaranteed SSRs uh, off just randomly. Um, I didn't get anything good. <laughs> so uh, I was a little bit upset about that, but whatever. It's cool. Um... I did get the Gohan, the tech Gohan from the World Tournament, which I haven't had before, so I'm happy about that. Um, other than that, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day out, so I'm going to go out riding today, probably northern Pennsylvania, because I haven't been there before. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into this weekly grind video. So first off, global side, the GT Baby Saga finale is available. That also goes with uh, Baby Saga, so let's start with the Baby Saga since it comes before it. Uh, runs until 5.15, so you have some time to grind that out. Essentially, this is the event where you go in and you, need to, and you grab all of the... Um, Medals for the Baba Shop, so that way you can exchange for a lot of good items. There are other, some good things here, so like you have this Go 10 Possess GT. When he Doken Awakens, his passive skill becomes very useful if you need key support on a Monophysical Extreme team. Uh, that's like a Broly team or a Korra team in case you need that support. Uh, passive skill is Physical Type Key plus 3. Plus he's free to play, so if you're running any type of free to play team, um, he does help physical units on that kind of a team. Um, I, I've used him before because for things like that, not often, but I have um, when I've wanted to try things out. Especially if you have LRs on that team, you're definitely going to want to have him available for use in, term, in certain battles. Uh, next one is going to be the other uh, Vegeta. He does get a second Doken Awakening. He's not the best, but he is an agility unit. So if you're looking to take on um, like that Frieza event, the Prime Battle Frieza event, he can be a really good uh, uh, agility unit for you to have, especially when he gets a second Awakening. Um, overall, not horrible, but he's there. Uh, Hercule Metal Stage 1, don't go for him. The Goten's available on Stage 2. Gohan Metals are Stage 3. Goten Metals are Stage 4. Baby Vegeta Metals are Stage 5. Trunks Metals, or Possessed Trunks Metals are Stage 6. Vegeta Drops on Stage 7. And then, if you're looking to go and get the, um, the Baba Shop Metals, definitely do Stage 10. And when you're running Stage 10, uh, you also get a Hercule uh, Statue Drop every single time you run it. Uh, so you get a lot of Zenny very quickly with the stage. The stage is great for that. So you go ahead and grind that out, especially if you're lo looking for Zenny. Um, there's some good th things in here in the Baba Shop, like the baby medals are exclusive to the Baba Shop. So if you want to pick some of those up in case they come back with another Baby Saga event, um, and you're going to probably, we'll definitely need Baby Saga medals at that point. So if you want to go ahead and start grinding them out just so you have them on, on standby, um, I think I have a couple on standby, but um, I, I don't. I definitely don't have enough if there's going to be another Dokkan Awakening. But just keep that in mind. They, Dokkan will usually do that and bring stuff back and reuse older medals. Um, so anyway, uh, next one is the finale for the GT. Um, you have the Chi-Chi item on stage one, which I, you really don't do anything in that event. You just kind of go through the board game. Um, Chi-Chi items are awesome because I believe it's like uh, opponent's uh, attack and defense minus 77%. Uh, it's, but it's only for one turn, so it's, uh, I guess, decent for certain events. Uh, but whatever, I mean, it's there. Uh, stage 2 drops all three Gohan, Goten, and Trunks medals of Possessed. You have Gohan, which is available from Stage 3. Go, uh, Trunks is available Stage 4. These are the Possessed versions. Stage 5 also drops uh, Percule badges for the Baba Shop, the same ones from the last event. And Stage 6 is Baby Vegeta Awakening medals. Uh, so Gohan is also very good. He does Tech Type Key plus 3, Defense plus 30%. I actually do use him fairly often on my Super Saiyan 3 Broly team. Uh, just because I definitely need him on that team. Uh, if you have an LR Zamasu, he'll definitely come in useful. Plus, he gives a defensive buff on top of his passive. So that is very useful because if you know that the Broly will lower his defense and having an additional 30% will help him keep his tankiness a little bit. Uh, so yeah, again, he's very good. I would definitely have, highly recommend uh, getting him. Uh, Trunks is here also. I definitely use Trunks. Trunks defense plus 30%. Um, and the reason why I use him is because there is no key support whatsoever on the, Intelli the Intelligence Extreme team. I still use Trunks as a primary unit, one of my primary units to this day, uh, just because he does do that, and he gives a defensive buff, and if you know, the Intelligence team is a lot of healing and high health units, and defensive units, so adding that additional defense just makes it phenomenal. He is a perfect unit. Out of all these guys, I would say that Trunks is the number one you want to grind if you don't have any of them, just because he fits perfectly on that Kid Boo team, and that's assuming you're running a Kid Boo team, that is, by, by the way, guys. If you're not running a Kid Boo team, you don't need to, but if you are, definitely get him. Um, Baby Vegito Doken Awakens with all the medals, including the baby medals. Again, like I said, he's not that great, but he's still good for a mono agility team for a prime battle. Attack and defense plus 5,000 at the start of the turn. And he's Super Baby 1, and the other one's Baby Vegeta. 
So you can have both of these guys super attack 10 and run them both on the same team and they link with each other very, very well. Um, 74% by the way for that Chi-Chi, so I, I still don't think it's worth it, but since it's only one turn. If they did two turns, I would definitely say go for it and grind it, but it's not. Um, anyway, so that's that. Runs until 515 as well. Uh, next one is going to be the Universe 6 Survival Saga, um, the Universe 6 Saga tournament. Runs until 511, you have two more days, it's been out for a while. Uh, you get to hit the medals to Doken Wake and Hit, to Doken Wake and Kaba. Um, you have Vados medals on stage 2. Uh, you have some Dendes on stage 4, just for something notable, if you want to grind them out if you don't have them. Kaba's available on stage 6, he will get a second Doken Awakening soon. Stage 7 is Vegeta medals, stage 8 is Champa medals. Uh, Hit is okay when he gets Doken Awakening, he's really just meant for stunning, unfortunately, he doesn't do that much damage. All well, attack plus 80% is not bad. Uh, disables enemy guard with a high chance of stunning the attacked enemy. His Doken Awakening isn't horrible, but because he doesn't have anything farmable, grindable, unless you want to throw Elder Kai's into it, and Elder Kai's in an attack plus 80% unit isn't really that great. He does disable enemies' guards, so he can do a little bit of damage against physical units, but he still has type disadvantage, so he's not doing as much damage as he possibly could, but he doesn't have that um, defensive uh, debuffer on the enemy. So that's cool, but um, overall, I mean, it's cool. If you like hit, then definitely go ahead and make sure you grind those two out. Even if you don't have them, you can grind them out, uh, just because it's it's cool to have uh, your cards stoke and awaken, and it definitely makes them a little bit more viable. Um, but anyway, that runs for two more days, so if you haven't done that, go ahead and grind it out. Next one is the Future Trunks Saga Summons, or Saga Event. Runs until 5.11. Um, this one, let's see, you have the Trunks available from Stage 4, his medals on Stage 6, and 7 and 8 is his Super Saiyan and Vegeta forms. Uh, you can Doken Awaken him with these medals down here. It's a pain in the butt to grind these medals out. Uh, these, this, this Trunks will Doken Awaken, and you can feed him into other Super Saiyan Trunkses. That is such a grind fest, I'm telling you, but if you are a free-to-play player, and you don't have a lot of Elder Kai's, it's definitely worth a grind for some units. Um... Notably, the Intelligence one, obviously, because that's what everyone grinds for. Uh, but, I mean, honestly, outside of that, if you see these medals, uh, especially the, the Super Saiyan Trunks and the Super or the Vegeta Blue from this uh, future Trunks Saga category in the Baba Shop, buy them. Um, the, this number 6 will drop a lot more often, but the 7 and 8, they don't drop as often, and it's 50% for, well, not 50%, but you have a, it's like a, between the two of them, you're getting one or the other. Sometimes you'll get both, but it's very hard to get the ones you want, so definitely purchase them when you have the chance to. Um, he Doken Awakens into Super Saiyan Trunks Future, so any Super Saiyan Trunks Future units that you have, he can feed into once he's Z-Awakening for 100% chance. Highly recommend using the Elder Kai's to Z-Awaken him in order to get him to feed into those units. Uh, but outside of that, runs until 5.11, it's a cool event, go get your Dragon Stones if you're not looking to grind the Trunks. Um, next one is going to be the Dokkan event, the Blazing Blue Fusion and the Rose Avail, the Rose Colored Terror. The new stages are available, they both run until 5.10, so they end tomorrow, that means being daily. They'll still come back on the regular time slots during the heroes, during the villains, during the agility um, for the Rose and the um, strength for Rose. Then Vegito is going to be physical and technique. So maybe they'll be available on all those days. Uh, each of these events are pretty awesome, pretty fun. I love my villains team. It's so much fun to play with. That's my that's my thing, though. I like villains. I'm not a big... I, I do like the heroes, but the villains are just so much cooler because there's so many different types of attacks. Mo every villain, every hero is like either Kamehameha Wave, a big bang attack, or some big energy beam, and there's nothing like cool about it. Like the newer ones, that are, the newer cards that are coming out with better attacks and everything, but I just like the villains attacks better. Um, anyway, the new Doken Festival for Broly is here, runs until 5.11, you have a couple days, it's, it's only going to be every day, well every couple days you're going to get a new physical or new uh, attribute type event. This one is the Broly, the Kid Buu, and the Frieza, every day there's going to be a new one, or every couple days there's going to be a new one. You're going to have a, a strength one, an agility one, an intelligence one, a tech one, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys to summon on them unless you don't have any of the cards. Uh, the physical one, unless you don't, I mean, full power freeze, you're going to get the stones for, so you don't have to even worry about getting pulling full power freeze if you want to get him. You'll probably get a red stone at some point for the third year. Um, the boo is cool when you do, when he does attack, then defense plus 50% for all allies, but it stays when HP is 80% or above. So he's cool, but you have to keep that HP high. And then Broly doesn't have as many linking buddies on his mono team. I guess you can token wake in the, um, the physical Broly to Super Saiyan 3, the free to play one, and then he will have a good linking buddy, but. Uh, yeah, it's up to you on how you want to run that. Most most of these teams, uh, most of the model physical team doesn't include Broly on him, uh, on it, just because you have better units like Omega Shenron and Sin Shenron, and then Korra and Frieza, full power Frieza. So honestly, in my opinion, you're probably gonna I wouldn't I, I wouldn't summon on any of these on any of these Dokkan Fest exclusive banners until the new one comes out. But it runs until 5:11 if you're interested. Um, the guaranteed SSRs are going to be here till 5:23 from the World Tournament. Dual Dokkan Fest ends tomorrow for well, technically tonight actually. Um, Oh, actually, no, it is tomorrow. 
for the Vegeta Blue and the Rosé, so you'll have those dual Doken Fest that's only going to be available for one more day. I did another summon. I didn't get anything. I wanted to try and see if I can get a Vegeta Blue, uh, Vegito Blue, and I didn't get them. Um, and Elder Kai Ritual ends tomorrow, or on the 11th, so if you need those Elder Kais, I, I think these are worth it. I always think these are worth it, so I would definitely recommend going and getting them. Um, so anyway... Uh, that's that. We're moving over to the JP side now. So for those of you who are interested, this is going to be the JP side. Global's done. So if you're going to leave, go ahead and give me a like or something. And let me know if I left anything out on the global side in the comments below. JP side of Dokkan Battle Extreme Z Awakenings here. Runs until 531 for all these three guys. I'm not going to be running it myself. But they're here. That's available. And it's pretty cool. I like the I like the event. I can't wait to get my Gohan Dokkan Awaken. Uh, I have every single one of these guys on my global account. Super Attack 10 with all four Dupads unlocked. Actually, except Goten. I'm missing one Dupath of him. So when that that ticket when those tickets come around on the global side, I want to buy one Goten and then I need to figure out which what I want. I'm definitely not going to get the Gokus. I'm probably going to either get the Goten or the Gohans. Whoever I have a Super Saiyan Gohan or Goten of that need to have their super attack increase just because I already have all of them because they're such a common uh, pulls. Uh, but anyway, yeah, they're here. I'm going for the Gohan personally. I'm definitely going to put some dupe system in. I think I already have dupe system in on him. So I'm just going to go ahead when he gets to his Z Awakening. I want to get him up to level uh, 140 so quick. And then Super Attack 15. Um, anyway, let's see. This runs until 531, so you have some time to do that. Definitely recommend doing it if you have the Gohan. The Goku is cool too, and so is the Goku. I did a full review if you want to go check that video out. Um, the story event is here. It runs until 531. You can go through and get all the medals. These are the medals that you use to Doken Awaken them. They're first round. Pain in the butt to grind them out because it's just all three in one stage, but you can go ahead and do it. Videl and Trunks medals or uh, drops are here. You could use these Videls to increase the Videl super attack of the Intelligence one. Trunks, obviously, for base form Trunks, he's not really that good of a unit. You're going to get a whole bunch of them if you're grinding at Videl. Um, at least get Videl up to super attack 5. She, I forgot what she does, but she does something special when she gets super attack 5. Um, I think she increases her attack or she launches super attacks or 9 up above or something like that. Um, again, these medals are available. You Doken Wake and your Goku, your Gohan, and your uh, your Gotenks or Goten over here. To their other forms so that way you can actually extreme z awaken them and then you have the shamo uh event item that's here which is attacked and offense um was it my yeah i think it's the attack defense minus 30 percent um or is it plus 30 percent for two turns i forgot who, who if it goes up against the end anyway it's a good item get it <laughs> uh, i'm sorry about that I, I just didn't look it up i'll we'll we'll talk about that let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it anyway New stage for the Vegeta is here until 522. You can go ahead and get the medals for his Doken Awakening. That's such an awesome Vegeta. I really wish I put something on him. I did two off-camera multis on it, and I did not get anything good. Uh, the last one I did, I got the stupid physical Valentine's Balma that does 7,777 heal. Uh, the Jiren event is here until 522 if you want his Doken Awakening medals. Um, again, they will be coming back on their respective days. Um, I have the Jiren, and I really want... I got him up to Super Attack 10 finally. I just can't Doken Awaken him. That event took me like 15 minutes to beat once. That's because of the JP side, I have no good item. That runs until 5.22 from running daily. The new event runs until 5.22 as well. Looks like you have the Android 18, which is available on Stage 1. She'll feed into all the other 18s. That's going to be definitely a grind fest when it comes to global for me. Android 18 medals are on Stage 3. Android 17's on Stage 6. He feeds into all the other Android 17s. So it's another grind fest. Uh, plus, you want to get each of their free-to-play units to Super Attack 10 with four Dupas unlocked. And Android 17 Doken Awaken medals are available on Stage 9. And you have some training good some good training locations available on Stage 7. It looks like you have some Hercule statues on Stage 8. So this event does not disappoint, but it's still... Oh, and then uh, I guess we have the rebrand medals on Stage 1. Um, but outside of that, yeah. I mean, all oh, the Doken Awaken medals are also Doken Awaken the tech versions of Android 17 and 18 from the World Universe Survival Saga. And rebrand re, uh, Doken Awakens to rebrand from the uh, from the banner. So, I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Very big uh, grind fest on this one. When it comes to global, I will not be that happy because of all the grinding, and I don't want to do it. Beautiful weather and all. Uh, next one is the Extreme Z Awakening for Broly. It's still here. It's running until 522, so you can go ahead and do that if you want to. Uh, it should be available regularly. Um, we have the Universe Survival Competition. I believe this is the opening ceremony. This is where you get the Khalifa. I did a review on this a while ago, about a month ago, a month and a half ago. Uh, Khalifa is cool. Kefla, or not Kefla, um, Kale is a very good unit by herself for free-to-play. Highly recommend using her. She is a great support unit for Universe Survival Saga team, so definitely recommend getting her up to Super Tech 10 and Doken Awakening her, because she becomes very viable. Um, you have Kaba medals to Doken Awaken him on Stage 6, and then you have Kale and Khalifla medals for Doken Awakenings available on Stage 7. Highly recommend getting them. That's how you're going to Doken Awaken these girls. Um, and they also come into play with the... Um, uh, agility and the physical ones so oh and then you also need them to doken wake and kefla as well so you have a whole bunch of grinding for this but these are actually worth it because some except for this this khalifa i don't think is that great 
Um, she is when she Doken Awake and she increases the super attack of the agility one. I haven't done that on the global side. I did not use um I didn't use Elder Kai's anyway. So if you haven't used Elder Kai's, you finally can get them fed into. So highly recommend doing that. Go ahead and do that. Um, again, Kale is very good as a support unit. Highly recommend going and getting her up to Super Tech 10, Doken Waking her. Um, and then Kaba, he becomes a very good free-to-play unit. So, uh, overall, that's that's what you guys got for this event. Runs until 522. Go ahead and grind it out. Uh, the other event over here, it looks like this is like the introductory to, this, to this, the Survival Saga. You have Goku, Doken Wake, it's the Ultra Instinct to increase the Super Tech of Ultra Instinct if you want to do that grind. Kachin Medals are on Stage 4. Uh, Urin is on Stage 8. Ultimate Gohan is on stage 9, what a grind fest. Stage 10 is Angel Frieza, um, which also Doken Wake is into Golden Angel Frieza, another grind fest. Frieza medals are stage 11, and Goku medals are stage 12. Such a pain in the butt for all of this, but oh my god, is it so much worth it because of all the awesome units you can increase their super attacks of. Runs until 522. Um, the Universe 6 Survival is on. Uh, runs until 522 as well. We already talked about this on the global side, so there's no reason going over it. Hit medals, Doken Awake and Kaba, get your Kaba from stage 6. It's pretty much the highlights of that. Um, the LR Freeze event runs daily until 511, so go ahead and do that. It's a special where you get increased drops of Freeze of the first form Freeze cards. Uh, if you want to go ahead and grab them, uh, I, I don't know. You, you use the Ginyu Force and you get more of those, and I guess that's cool. Um, but uh, I don't know if it does increase drops of the actual medals. I think it's just the cards that's affected by it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, runs until 511, though. So it's wrapped winding down. Um, Battle of the Gods event is here at 515. Nothing really good here except the medals for the, the Doken Wake and your uh, Intelligence Goku and your Weeses. So the Weiss medals, the Beerus medals are really the useful ones. Uh, the physical one actually becomes really useful because he does heal when HP drops below 30%. So he becomes like the agility one. And since he's an SR, it's a very common pull. Um, you don't even need to get him to Super Attack 10. You get him to Super Attack 1 and then you can grind out the uh, Hero Extermination plan. And you can get him up to Super Attack 10 with the free-to-play Weeses if you want to. Uh, the, for the, the White Hot Face-Off Goku will Doken Wake into God Goku card. He'll Doken Wake in again. You can feed him into any of the, Go the God Goku cards. It's just a grind fest if you really want to grind out those goddamn medals. It's such a pain in the butt. As you see, all the medals are here. Beerus Stage 1, Wii Stage 2, uh, 3, 4, uh, Gohan Stage 5, Goten Trunks Stage 6, Vegeta Stage 7, and Videl Stage 8. The Goku isn't even worth talking about. And the Peel-Off Gang, these items are very useful. They're on stages uh, 3 and 4 if you want to grind them out. Uh, outside of that... This is a cool event. It's been around for a very long time. Runs until 515. 522. Uh, this is the movie bosses summon for... Or the, the event, the Dokkan event, runs until 522. Uh, so you can go up and get beat Turles for his me medals in order to Dokkan awaken him in any of the uh, the, the actual free-to-play base form Goku. Uh, that's about it. So that runs until 522. Go ahead and do that. Man, JP has so much going on. And the major Kamehameha event that's going on right now. You have the banner. That's available for summoning on the Goten, the Gohan, and the Trunk. I mean, the, Go the Trunks. <laughs> uh, Goku. Goku, Gohan, and Goten. Um, you have the Vegeta banner that's here. Vegeta banner is running. Really awesome banner. Highly recommend summoning on it. You have Jiren. You have Topo, which is a great support unit. You have Vegeta, which is just a badass. Um, you have, uh, I always forget Dispo's name, and it's Dispo. Uh, Rebrian, the 17, and the 18. So you have, this is a very good banner. I did not, I, I've been summoning on it. I use all my JP stones on it. Um, and last but not least, you have the Extreme Z Awakening Broly banner, which has Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, the Vegito, and the OG Broly, which is actually a really good banner if you think about it with the three of them on it. But anyway, guys, that is it for the weekly grind. Thank you for taking your time to stop by. I know it's been a 20-minute video. Appreciate your patience, and that's everything that's going on. But anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know if I forgot anything down in the comments below. I'm going to go out and enjoy my day because it's beautiful 80-degree weather. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.